everybody welcome back um i took some time off obviously just because wrapping up the school year as a teacher and just you know getting my home life together but um let's catch everybody up <laughs> notice my setup is a little new and different I got kind of a background um, I probably need a steamer or something too so I can steam out the wrinkles and stuff um, and I also got a ring light um, the ring light is to help me with online teaching uh, but I figured why not use it now too so again if I'm looking down I'm looking in my notebook for my notes just because Week three and four are kind of far away from where I am right now. Um, so I just finished week 13, just so you know how far back I am. So, okay, so um, if you haven't, go check out how I tore my ACL and go check out week one and week two. Um, so this is gonna be week three and four, obviously. Um, the weeks are kind of the same now. Um, every week I am getting stronger and I do notice a difference. Um, currently in, in week three and four, I am not noticing a difference in between my first day of therapy to my second day. But when I start the new week, I notice from last week's first day to this week's first day, it's a big difference that I'm actually noticing. And um, I'm just so thankful and so appreciative of my therapist she's like she's great I mean she's amazing <laughs> that's all I can say she is amazing okay so week three just to catch you up um I'm still not driving at the beginning of the week I'm still wearing my brace all the time again if you haven't watched week two it's up, gonna be up here okay so week three I am still in my huge brace um, most of the day. I'm still not moving around too well at home. Um, still using both of my crutches. I, I feel bad because sometimes I wasn't using them and I was just limping, like, forget it. I'm just going to limp. Um, now I'm focusing on learning to walk again. So, uh, when I'm walking, I am focusing putting my heel down first and then flexing my foot forward. So that's my main focus. Um, it's helping with getting my knee straightened and helping just to learn to walk again. So this week we did kind of kick up some exercises. I am still on the bike. Um, I am still on the bike. I'm still doing my same warm up that I've been doing. <laughs> is consisting of high knees, butt kicks, uh, Frankensteins, and I am starting to try to lateral lunge. It's not very successful at the moment, but I'm trying. Um, so I'm still on the, I'm working on the leg press. I do two legs up, two legs down, two legs up, one leg down, one leg up, one leg down. I am doing that with weight to just try to build that muscle. Um, I am also still doing calf raises and then I stretch out my calves. I'm still on the table for most, for about half of therapy, still on the table, just doing stretches and working on getting my quad and my hamstring firing just because uh, right now they're not as, they're not like they should be. I can kind of get it, but it's not. So I'm still doing like um, lateral leg raises, holding stuff like that. I am using a band to push and pull my leg for bending. I'm still doing prone hangs. So right now it's about 50% table stretches and 50% actual dynamic stretches. So moving around and doing stuff. Um, I do practice walking at physical therapy. I do not, I, as soon as I get there, I do take off my brace. So I'm not doing anything with my brace. Um, but week three, things start to change. So I was talking to my therapist and I was asking about the crutches. And I was asking about my brace and I told her sometimes I don't walk around the house with the brace. 
and she told me she'd prefer for me to lose the crutches versus lose the brace. As soon as she said that, I lost the crutches in the middle of the week. It was probably Wednesday, I think, um, or Tuesday. It might have been Tuesday after. I no longer used crutches. I said I was done. So I put the crutches to the side and I am now done using crutches. So I am wearing my brace anytime I get up off the couch. Um, I'm not moving around still a lot. I'm not doing household things yet. Um, but I am still doing stuff every day at home for as far as therapy. Um, the end of the week, I start driving. So I drive to my second day of therapy during week three. And driving with that brace was kind of hard at first. Um, just getting my foot in and out of the car was has been a struggle. And so now, basically, you know, I had to relearn to walk. So having to relearn to drive is kind of crazy. Um, but I had no struggles doing it. I mean, therapy is 10 minutes away, so it's nothing too big of a deal. But um, I definitely i am enjoying my progress. Okay, so week four. Um, week four, I sat down and my leg kind of gave out under me at the beginning of the week before my first day of therapy and I tried to catch myself and I did feel like I pulled something. So I was in some pain that day and the pain kind of didn't go away, but it did get less. So um, went to therapy first day of the week and I was in some pain. It's probably been the most pain I've been in since I've as I've gone to therapy uh the start of week four has been the most pain I've been in I was already in some pain before I kind of sat wrong but then that just amplified the pain times two so um week four I moved to a different facility as far as physical therapy because of COVID um the place that I go, they were condensing their locations. So my location I was at was condensing to another location and everybody was now on restricted schedules and there was nobody, basically they were restricting everybody. Um, it's kind of when it started to kind of bear down in week four. So the biggest thing that week is I now moved to the elliptical. No, I think I was still on the bike. I was on the bike another week. I was on the bike at the start of the week. There we go. And um, the second day of the week, I did move to the elliptical. Um, I did find that I was struggling to walk for 10 minutes. So my warm up is some kind of cardio for 10 minutes. Um, it started with a basic bike, then moved to a more difficult bike. And now it's at the elliptical as far as at the end of week four. Um, so I'm at the elliptical and I'm doing 10 minutes walking and she says, you know, I just want you to cruise. She said, I rather you slow down walking than stop if you can't go on for your 10 minutes. So um, I never felt like I couldn't go. I just, boy, you know, um, having to wear the mask while working out is a challenge. So think about the people that have to wear it all day. I only have to wear it for an hour, but working out with that mask is a challenge. So um, this week I focused on, um, so my warm up is relatively the same. My lateral lunges have gotten better um, and I am doing exercises with a band around my ankles, just trying to build that muscle in the hip and in the hamstring and everything um so right now towards the end of week four i want to say i'm still 50 50 50 percent table and 50 percent um dynamic stuff so moving around um at the end of week four i did start working on my balance so there's like a mini trampoline at an angle i'll try to find a picture on the internet or something and uh you throw a ball at it on on my right leg throw a ball 20 to the front turn so I then turn to the side my hips stay facing this direction but my torso turns 
and I'm doing 20 turns this way and 20 the other way. Um, so just working on that strength and tiring out that leg. Um, I've never not been tired at the end of therapy and it's, it's going great. So uh, thank you for following me on my journey. I hope if you have any questions, if you have torn your ACL or if you have any comments and you tore your ACL and you say, hey, I didn't experience that or you're a few weeks behind me as far as therapy and you have some questions, uh, put, them in the, just put them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them on the next video. The next video won't be far from now. So um, thanks for joining me. Y'all have a good day. Bye now.